Stop, don't make me blush. Dan Juice. I'm one of the trainers with Kezia Noble. Uh, the website's kezia-noble.com. So what I'm going to talk about today are uh, five main points which a lot of guys struggle with. They struggle with being a nice guy. So I want to bring up the five major points of why they're being too nice and how they can adjust that. First of all, stop apologizing. Lots of guys will go into a set and the first word that will come out of their mouth is sorry. Now, that's not going to cut it. You know, if you're dealing with a set that is full of average girls, they'll give you, you know, some leeway. That's absolutely fine. But if you're after the really quality girls, who sometimes can be bitchy, you're really going to have to stop doing that. It's not okay. The second point is to stop making excuses. Stop making excuses of why you can't go into the set. Stop making excuses about how you know, you need to get a drink first, or making excuses of why you're not good enough, or making excuses of the fact that you're not getting the hot girls. This is all internal stuff. All of this is in your head. Be dominant, stop being the nice guy, stop making excuses, and just do it. The third point is to stop caring about what anyone else thinks of you. Everybody walks around in life very concerned with what everybody's thinking about them, how they're being judged, are people looking, are people listening to what they're saying? The truth to it is, is that everybody's so concerned themselves about what others are thinking about them, they haven't got time to even think about judging you because let's be honest, they really don't care about you. That's the truth, everybody cares about themselves. So take that knowledge and then run with it because you now know that no matter what you say or what you do in or out of set, it doesn't really matter because 10 minutes later, half an hour later, it's gonna be a whole load of new people in that bar or that club who have no idea what just happened. So just do it. Point four, winging. Now, if you've got someone who is perhaps a teacher or a coach of game, then fantastic. Go into set with them, see what they do, be there and study carefully exactly how they're running a set. But as far as running a set with your, your best mate who has perhaps been doing this for a week, that's not gonna get you very far. The best way to learn is to really put yourself at the forefront of it. You know, to be really struggling with the sets, to have to really force yourself to control it. The only way you can do that is to be in there on your own. I would recommend to any of you that if there is anything larger than a four set, eight set, 12 set, whatever it is, you do it yourself. Leave your friend at the bar, let him do his own thing. He might just creep the girls out, he might be weird, you might make a very, very crap joke. You don't need that guy. You really don't. Point five is being dominant and holding your frame. Now there's a fine line with dominance and aggression. Being aggressive isn't okay. Uh, it's actually the weak man who's aggressive because he's trying to prove something uh, and he feels as though he needs to seek the rapport of others by doing so. So it's actually a very weak thing to do, so don't do it. But dominance and frame control are very, very important. Dominance really is about leading uh, and about the true frame control in the set. So often when you enter a set, you'll find these bitchy girls who are really, really high quality ones will generally test you immediately, absolutely immediately, and they will see how you react. Now, someone who's got a strong frame, when a girl insults them, will either A, laugh because they find it amusing that someone's even thinking about testing them or B, they'll just carry what they were saying and just completely ignore it so it never even happened. That's key. If you react and you spin off, then you're being weak. So just to recap, stop apologizing. Stop making excuses. Stop caring what anyone thinks about you. You don't need your best friend as your wing and be dominant and control your frame. If you'd like to find out more about me and about what we do at kezia-noble.com, then please have a look at the website. I'm available on all the boot camps, one-on-ones, and of course, the seven-day residential. My style of game is 
natural direct gain. I deal with very interesting things like rapport breaking openers. I'm very good at dealing with bitchy girls. So if you want to find out about that type of thing, get in touch, contact Kezia, and we'll see how we get on. I got you all figured out. You need everyone's eyes just to feel seen.